A Libre version 28 introduces some new features that make quick work of trying to do things like plasma cut or show multiple versions of the same drawing view. Let's go into that now. Let's say that I have this flange that I would like to plasma cut. Now our normal procedure to do that would be to go to send to, make drawing of this design, and we'll create a blank sheet and we'll say okay. We'll insert only, of course, the top view, and this is because we're going to export this as a DXF for plasma cutting. Now, if I want to make 10 of these, 20 of these, what do I do? Well, I'll have to go to Views, Standard, and I'll have to re-import this view all over again, and I'll have to do that many times. But, thankfully, version 28 has a new feature that I think is very handy. I can say control C and then I'll hit control V. And once again, control V and I can keep on copying and pasting my views over and over again until I have all the views that I would like. And this is advantageous because if I want to make another view where I say bring this flat, bring that centered and down again, right? I can make a whole nother view like this. And now I can sort of nest these parts inside of each other to minimize my material waste. And I can say Control C, V, and I can start putting these together in a meaningful way. Let me show you another example that can make the most of particular drawing views. In this case, a broken out section view. I am working here with one of Harold L's impressive assemblies. And let's take a small part of that assembly and I would like to make a series of broken out section views in this part. So I'll say send to, make a drawing. I've got my template. I'll move this as my top here. And we'll import these views. And with these being imported, Move this down a little bit and this up a little bit. Next, when I make my broken out section view, I'll use a spline and for that, right click, activate sketch. Now the thing about this is I would like to make a series of broken out section views at various depths of this one sketch. And I'd like my first broken out section view which I'll activate now to go to a depth of six. Now, if I wanted to continue this, now if I had wanted to make another broken out section view of the same sketch at a different depth, well, good luck getting the sketch the exact same, unless you're using elements that you can truly dimension from. But also, I'd have to just import a whole bunch of views. So instead of that, let's make good use of the features in version 28. I'll click on this view and say Control C, Control V. And now I can import another view. Likewise, Control V, I'll import another view. And perhaps one more, Control V. And with these views imported, for each one, I can edit my broken out section view and change whatever I'd like. We'll make this 10. And then with that being updated, we'll make this one to a depth of 20. And finally, I can go to my next broken out section view and make it something like 15. Now I have various views of this broken out section all across my part. This would have taken a long time, but with the tools of version 28, this made easy work of this task. Thank you for watching.